Hi, and welcome to Commission Factory's Partner Talks. Today's our second episode, and we're featuring today Seb Edwards from Klarna. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Look, we really wanted to have you guys on board today just to have a quick chat to see a few, few key ideas and thoughts from, from some leaders in the space. Um, so can you tell us briefly about the Klarna AU team and affiliate and what you guys do? Yeah, so we're, we're a small team um, here in Australia. Um, we're actually a global team uh, headquartered out of Sweden, but here in Australia there's a solid team of three. We work with hundreds of different brands in Australia, um, working with uh, networks like yourselves to, uh, I guess, showcase their offers, their products, their services to a growing engaged user base that we have here in Australia. And yeah, that, that's essentially what we do. Yeah, nice, running lean. So in three adjectives, how could you describe Klarna? I would probably say disruptive. We're definitely in it to change the market up. Quirky, you may have seen our advertising campaigns, they're a little bit different. And I'd probably finish that with, uh, with smooth. We're all about smooth payments, so that's how we do things. Yeah, I love that. Um, and look, what's your favorite thing about the affiliate industry? Look, I think the fact that the affiliate industry or the affiliate channel is uh, a really low cost comparatively to other channels mm. um, and also easily scalable channel. Um, working with networks like Commission Factory to get brands out there and, and get them coverage. Um, I'm also really, over the last few years working in the industry, really pleased and proud to see how far it's come as, I guess, a legitimate and focused channel for yeah. different brands. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's come a long way. It's really exciting. It has come a long way, yes. Look, what makes Klarna stand out in your eyes? Um, Klarna, what, does, what do we stand out for? I mean, there's so many different things, but um, I think... The fact that we're constantly challenging the status quo, um, we're really trying to change up the industry in terms of not only banking and finance, but also the, you know, the publisher landscape. Mm. Um, and beyond that, the, the sort of tech and marketing space. Um, we've acquired quite a few businesses over the last few months um, to, I guess, make Klarna an end-to-end -end marketing solution. Yeah. So we're really trying to change things up and become more than just a BMPL. Yeah, fantastic. And so I suppose on top of that, you know, why would advertisers really want to work with you guys? I think you've got a lot of solutions. Is there anything in particular that you really wanted to push forward? Yeah, look, I mean, we've got um, to date globally probably around 150 million users um, across all the different markets we work in. Um, and I think the fact that we have such a loyal and engaged user base um, really plays strength to the different brands that we work with. So we work with a lot of global brands that work in different markets and we can help them to either scale or grow in those markets. Um, beyond that, then we have, as I mentioned, a number of different marketing solutions which we've acquired from the likes of Stokard to Apparel to Hero, mm -hmm. um, which allows those brands then to, I guess, scale up to the next level. Yeah. Um, so we really offer the brands that we work with more than just payments or affiliates. There's so much more to it. Yeah, cool. And so what does an average day for you, a little bit more personal, what does it look like for you at Klarna? I guess, you know, for us, we, we generally start the day just kind of coming together, um, making sure we're on the same page in terms of goals, priorities. We generally like to sort of, you know, work hard, play hard here at Klarna. So, you know, we'll smash out a few hours of work and then get a long lunch in and kind of celebrate the wins. And, and generally then closing out the day, we'll check in with our teams in Europe. And depending on the day of the week, we celebrate what's called Fika, which is a, a Swedish celebration where you come together, you have a coffee, you have some drinks, you have some food, and it's a real great way to, I guess, decompress through the week and, and kind of switch off a little bit. But um, yeah, that's kind of, that's a typical day. Yeah, nice. And so you don't describe yourselves just as a buy now, pay later affiliate. Why is that? I think just because over the years we've evolved to be much more than that. As mentioned, we've got an entire tech stack um, in our back end now that we can offer up to brands. And we are becoming a premium publisher in all markets. So you know, working with yourselves over the last sort of year and a half in Australia, um, we've really grown to be a, a top tier publisher. And I think what we can do beyond just being a BMPL is offer these brands a, a whole lot more. So we can really, I guess, tap into all of their different marketing channels and try to help them to scale in all of those. Yeah, totally. More sort of top of funnel exactly. brand discovery, that kind Correct. of thing. Correct, yeah. yeah. And so look, we've got a couple months, six months left in the year. What are the goals? What is the strategy for you guys moving forward? Oof, good question. I think for us, it's to continue to grow our user base. That's a key focus for us. Beyond that, I think just building on existing relationships with networks, brands, agencies, and also to get out there and try and bring new brands in, obviously. Mm. And also a key focus for us here in APAC is to grow into Asia. So mm. we've got a lot of growth plans for the next few months and hoping to really establish in some of those key markets in Asia. Exciting, sounds good. Mm. Look, a few quick rapid fire questions to finish off today. Look, what's your go-to hype up song? 
<laughs> um, I would probably say um, go to hype up song would be. I mean, Eminem, you can't really go far yeah. wrong. Probably Superman, I think it's probably yeah. one of my, my go-tos. Yeah. yeah, fair play. Yeah. All right, different left of field here. Favorite cocktail? Favorite cocktail, espresso martini. How can you down. do wrong? If you could go or be anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Um, I think South America. I was there a few months back. Really want to get back out there. So post-COVID, I think that would be a dream. Yeah. Get out, get to Patagonia, get a camper van. That's the dream. Love yeah. that, yeah. And look, what's the favorite thing to do more local in Sydney? I really like to get out and enjoy nature. So probably go out, go on a hike, go on a bushwalk. Yeah, yeah. see a bit of something. Yeah, up in the mountains. Yeah. Biggest pet peeve? Slow walkers. Oh, <laughs> Slow walkers. stuck behind yeah. them on the side. Get out. Yeah. Out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and look, last one, unpopular opinion. Uh, this one comes up a lot. I think if you're over 30, you shouldn't have TikTok on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's going to be a few upset people out there. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's my view. I, uh, I sympathize and agree. But do we'll you leave have it TikTok? at that. <laughs> 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 I do. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Seb, for having Thanks, or joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank we'll you. We'll catch up soon. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.